Right, okay, so this one's apparently got a white light of death, so I'm gonna plug it in first of all and just see what's going on. Warranty stick is still intact. But are the fake. And there's no display picking up on my capture card. Let me turn the TV on. Nope, no signal. So you guys can't actually see when it comes up. Oh, you can barely see it when it says no signal. Very, very slight. But uh, never mind. Uh, right, so yeah, no signal on this one. So hopefully nice straightforward. Uh, right, so let me just double check the capture card, make sure there's no display. Yeah, it's a black screen. Uh, okay, well. Press and hold power supply, or power button rather. So even though it's got no display, never uh, never unplug the HDMI while it's powered on. Because it might not be the, the encoder that's bad. That is something we have to determine. Yeah, those stickers are fake. <laughs> those stickers are fake. Yep. Those stickers are fake. So, this has been opened before. Yep, yeah, and that one comes off with no damage. <laughs> oh, what is it with people and fake bloody stickers? Hmm. Original factory HDMI port. Looks bent. Let's have a look at that under the scope because that could be the reason for no display if he's not making the full contact. Yeah, that looks bent. That's how it's supposed to be. So, that could be one reason. That could be one reason. Alright, let's get rid of that. I'll sort that out later on. Right, it's okay. So, let's do some tests on this then. So, the HDMI port does look a little bit bent. So, I'll probably change that first, if nothing else shows up as faulty. Um, no bent pins on the back. The only problem is I don't actually have any HDMI ports for PS4s. So, I'll have to take one off a donor board, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. I'll just replace it for confirmation and then uh, just tell console repair London to fix it if it was a HDMI port thing. Because I haven't got any brand new ports unless I've got some in the house. I don't think I don't think I, I don't think I have. So I'm going to use continuity mode first. Um, check this fuse for continuity. <laughs> Fuse is dead. Fuse is dead. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, I'll be damned. The fuse has blown. I never get that lucky. I never get that lucky. Who are you and what have you done with Phil? Because I never get that lucky. Right. Okay. Well. This could be the quickest white light of death ever. But why did it blow? Um, Sony? There's been a lot of thunderstorms in London, um, 
and this fuse would protect against the thunderstorm. So, yeah. I'm going to put it down to the thunderstorm because that's why that's why they're all dying recently. Okay, well, I will take it either way. I'm not going to grumble at a simple fuse replacement. So this fuse is connected to the 5 volt line which is basically where you will get a power surge if you were to get a thunder strike. Bridget with solder. <laughs> no. No. Right, I'm going to grab one from a donor board, which I'm going to test first to make sure it works. That fuse is good. Should replace it with a good one, super easy, but you can do it. Thanks for that, mate. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you for the tip. I'd give you a tip, but your girl's got it in her mouth. Boom. Get burnt, bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry, mate. Let's make the tip dance. The tip? Let's make the fuse dance. <laughs> that was sad. Then why are you laughing? <laughs> anyway. I think Jason stuck a nerve. <laughs> oh, that fuse is now good. Cool. <laughs> Mate, honestly, I just genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, genuinely could not resist it. <laughs> it was too easy. He literally made it so easy for me. Thank you, Glenn. <laughs> Wrecked. <laughs> Thank you for the 10 bucks, mate. I appreciate that. Muchas gracias. Now I can buy Jason's wife some flowers. Oosh. Right, anyway. Fuse done. <laughs> Where is my thermal pasta? There it is. And right, well, Wayne doesn't want this to work, but everyone else does, or most other people do. Let's have a look. Is it going to work? Guess what? Guess what? Boop! Hooray! She's a working. Simplest fix in history. Simplest fix in history. Right, bear with me a sec. Uh, let me just switch back to that camera a minute. Just want to log in. Cool. Yep, working in 1080p. Uh, 
and his Wi-Fi working. Come on. Come on. Don't want to download some software. Go away. What's going on with the servers? What the? PSN was down earlier, if that makes a difference. Yeah, it could be, yeah. Can't connect to the Wi Fi network. Wi Fi signal too weak, really. Shut up. There you go. That's the correct password. Jason sucks. Donkey balls. I try not to laugh. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to check this again. I think if it's the uh... oh, there we go. Just my internet being a dick. Right, test the internet connection. Oh, well, he's just done this, so. I'm assuming. Hmm, it won't give me a speed test for some reason. I don't know. Well, the internet is working. He's picking up my mobile hotspot. Yep, Jason sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Jason said just sad oh shit that was the wrong disc that was an xbox disc taking a disc so you really need a reboot which totally won't affect the stream at all wouldn't it genuinely wouldn't I could turn wifi off right now it wouldn't affect it Again, just sad. <laughs> uh, there is a reason that it wouldn't affect it, and that is because the Wi-Fi comes, the uh, the internet comes in through. Um, the funny thing is, it's connected to to Wi-Fi on my um, on my phone. Uh, yeah, but the internet comes in through the Ethernet cable into a HDMI switch, and then it spurs off from the, from the not HDMI from it to an Ethernet switch, and then from the Ethernet switch to the router, and then I've got another cable which goes from the switch to the laptop, and another cable which goes from the switch to the uh, whatever console I want to test. And it's all all Cat Seven. All Cat7 goodness. I upgraded all the cables a couple of weeks ago. Right, that's testing everything fine. I'm happy. Come on, shut down. Thank you. Right, nice simple one there. Um, so yeah, there's been a lot of thunderstorms in London lately. Uh, or rather, there was, a, there was a lot of thunderstorms in London. And uh, that's probably the cause of... The fuse blowing on this so that fuse is linked directly to the five volt line and uh, without that five volt line the hdmi port can't detect that it's been plugged in so you basically need that five volt line to be able to work and uh yeah usually when you get a lightning strike that fuse blows so it just kind of makes sense with what's been going on with the thunder and lightning lately um so yeah another one fixed another happy customer 